Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now this video will be in a slightly different format to all my other videos, however it will be just as good. And in this video I'll be giving you some tips on how to make a self tape. I was inspired to make this video as recently I have been helping a friend to make their own self tape for a short film or series and I'm going to share with you five useful tips that helped us to create a successful self tape. The first tip that I would give you is to read the script over and over again as on each read you will often find some hidden meanings and subtext that you may not have noticed on your first read. It is important to understand your character fully as little aspects of your performance will be affected by things in their past and future. If your character is going on a romantic journey then you need to show at the start that they maybe perhaps don't have as many feelings as they will have at the end of the film. If you're in a coming of age film then there definitely needs to be some sort of transition that your character goes through vocally and physically. By reading the script multiple times you will also be more inspired for your self tape and will perhaps create things that you may not have thought of on the first read through. Often actors forget that a self tape is not only about their performance but you also want to give a feeling of what's happening off screen so that the casting agent can understand the atmosphere and setting that your scene is in. The second tip that I would give to actors making their first self tape is to find a completely plain background. Now this is so that the casting agent can focus on your performance rather than a turned on TV in the background or moving people. Now when you set up your frame it should be one frame for the entirety of your self tape. This is to show that you haven't edited your performance in any way. Now for the self tape that I recorded today we went for a medium close up so that you could see enough of the body and face of the actor. What we found to be successful was after we set up our master shot we thought it would be interesting to move around the frame to create different shot sizes. For example the actor was able to come closer to the camera for a close up and further away for a wider shot. This will be effective in keeping the casting agent entertained throughout your self tape. The third tip that I would give is to definitely try and wear some relevant costume. Now although this isn't necessary and some casting agents may not like this, I would find the effort that you've put into creating your character more desirable than an actor who hasn't put any effort into their costume at all. However one thing to keep in mind is that your costume should definitely not distract from your performance but only add to it. For example, if you're wearing a hat and scarf, is this really necessary for your facial performance? Because perhaps the hat and scarf are covering up some vital facial expressions in your forehead and chin region. However, by wearing a coloured t-shirt that's mentioned in the script, it shows that you have paid attention and are deeply invested in the character. The fourth tip that I would give is to try and use your whole body, if necessary, for the performance. You definitely need to show your range of facial expressions in your self tape. Don't hold back at all. It is much better to overact your first try at a self tape, watch it back and then pull back in the areas that you think are a bit too over the top. Yet again this all depends on the scene that you choose to send in for your self tape. If the scene has a lot more subtext to it and is a very tense scene, then possibly a few eye movements are all it takes to get the message across. However, if you're auditioning for a comedy, then perhaps the physical gestures that you create with your whole body will be necessary and you might want to adjust your shot type for this. Finally, most casting agents will ask on your thoughts about the script and the character to add at the end of your self tape. This is just as important as your audition because it shows how invested you are in the script and a director will definitely want an actor that connects with the material and finds it as interesting as them. Therefore, I would suggest that you try and describe what you can provide to the production and why your experiences will help you in creating the character and delivering the performance that they need. I hope these tips have helped some of you beginner actors out there who are creating their very first self tapes. I hope these tips have helped calm your nerves on what's needed for a self tape. And don't forget that so long as you look like you're having fun in your self tape and fully create the character that's needed, then you should be successful. Thank you for watching this video and I wish you all the best of luck in the creation of your own self tape. 